Hello, hello, beautiful people. It is your girl, Javicia, and I am back with another video. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. I told you guys, I always read my comments. I always respond to my comments. And I'm always asking for feedback on what you guys want to see from my channel. So someone by the name of Man of God Will, and I'm going to put the comment um, on the screen here so that you can read it as well. But yesterday he posted... Can you make a reaction video to the Lady of Heaven movie trailer? I know this isn't your type of content, but sometimes change can be positive. It's coming out in cinemas on December 10th, 2021, and it's fine. Your reaction doesn't, your reaction video doesn't have to be professionally made. What matters is you do it out of the goodness of your heart. Now, man of God will, I'm gonna do this video for you, as you can see by the title of this video, but let me go on record by saying, if you are setting me up, you and I gonna have a problem, okay? We are gonna have a problem. <laughs> I don't think you're setting me up, but just in case, I needed to go ahead and put that out in the universe, okay? Before I do this video, I wanna say that if there's anybody else who wants me to do a reaction video to their content or has an idea for any other content that they wanna see from me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. If it's something that's within my means, I will go ahead and do it, so. Without further ado, I am going to watch the trailer for The Lady of Heaven, okay? Um, I have my little, wait, I have my iPad here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. I should have did this before the video, but here we go. And I will put the video as well below so that you can see it as well. All right, so this is two minutes and 22 seconds. Here we go. The world is in shock as a group of terrorists has taken control of large areas of Syria and Iraq. The world can be a cruel and dangerous place. Remember, even if you're afraid, be strong. Your loving mother, Fatima. Did your mother ever tell you the story of the Lady of Heaven? She was very special. Daughter to the Prophet Muhammad. My time is near. And after with my lovely Fatima, you will face many trials. With my father no longer here to lead us, Evil is with those who will extinguish the light of truth. You're gonna let a woman tell us what to do. We will burn her out. <clears throat> God will judge all of you. I don't do well with violence against women. This world has become a breeding ground of violence. Shadow will be cast across many generations to come. I know it's like the burning tree. It said some people are so full of faith. They give strength to everyone around them. The greatest thing in this life and the hereafter is the spreading of peace in the world. Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up, no matter what the cost. Her legacy lives on. All right, so. Let me go ahead and read to you guys the synopsis of The Lady of Heaven. It is an upcoming epic historical drama film directed by Eli King. 
produced by Enlightened Kingdom, the film bills itself as the first movie of the life of the historical figure Fatima during and after the era of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. One thing I will say about the trailer is that it definitely um, pulled my interest in. Um, I think what really stood out to me was the fact that it's a woman leading the um, movement. I love movies where there is a strong female um, heroine that is leading a movement. Um, I feel like a lot of movies that have a female lead usually have a male counterpart and there's like a love interest there and he's usually helping her lead the movement. I love to see something a little bit different in movie theaters where um, it, it's just a female lead who is really pushing forward um, within the storyline and I think that, that this is, I think that this is what uh, the Lady of Heaven is truly about. Fatima seems like a bad chick, okay? And I love stories like that. One thing that kind of got to me and I could tell that it was going to be this type of... So at the beginning of the, the trailer, you can see that um, it's, a, it's a movie about Islamic tradition and culture. And it's a touchy subject for me because I know within that particular culture uh, women are seen as lesser and if I'm wrong please you know I'm open to being educated but it does seem like women are seen as lesser and have a lot of laws and restrictions imposed on them and so when I saw that that is what this movie was about I was already like okay this is going to tug at my emotions and then throughout the um, trailer you start seeing a lot of violence portrayed against um, women and children and that is hard to watch especially when that slap happened baby you'll see it in the I know you saw it in the reaction like that is hard for me to watch I'm ready to jump into the movie and help whoever is getting hurt when things like that happen so I'm definitely um, willing to see this movie I think that it's interesting um, it's not something that I've heard about in the past, but I'm open to it. I think that it has a positive, from what I can see, it has a positive storyline. And I did a little bit of research on why, you know, people are asking uh, YouTubers to watch and post reaction videos to this, to this movie. And it's because it had a, it has a touchy, um, storyline and has actually been banned in a lot of countries due to um, the subject matter which I can see is understandable a lot of cultures see this type of storyline and message as something that needs to be restricted so let me give you guys a little bit of uh, background on what has happened since this movie was created so on January 5th, the Pakistan Telecommunications Authority banned the film, deeming it sacrilegious. It ordered social media platforms to remove trailers and promotional material. In Egypt, concerned citizens, religious leaders, and scholars urged the screenings be halted. They called for ratwas. Oh, I'm sorry, fatwas, forbidding the film's viewing and demanded the UK cease worldwide distribution. The council in Lebanon condemned the production, saying that the material encourages hate and discord. A few years ago, while it was still in pre-production, Iran clerics blacklisted the film. So this is definitely a film that has had an uphill battle to get released. Um, one of my viewers, uh, Man of God, Will, stated that this movie is being released in December. So I'm glad that even though it has had obstacles, that it's still pushing forward and still has the opportunity to be released worldwide. I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's not a movie that I'd heard of in the past. Now that I've watched the trailer and read a little bit about the history and um, why it's important to watch things like this, I'm definitely gonna give it a shot. Have you guys heard of this movie? Um, let me know your thoughts and comments on the trailer in the comment section below. I'm curious of whether or not you enjoy the trailer. I wanna make this video is, is as quick as possible so I won't do too much more talking but I wanted to say thank you man of God will for the suggestion um, and if any of you guys have any other suggestions please leave them in the comment section below as always share this video with your friends and family if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and do so I have posted videos every day of October 
make sure you click the playlist link in the description bar below as well. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your night and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.